in my pocket and get that birch bark we collected earlier in our travels. I like to do that because you never know wherever you have to uh, wherever you're going to uh, set up camp may or may not have the proper tinder so so I like to collect it during my travel. Didn't need much more than that. What I'm going to use today is my. Uh, I also have my Leatherman multi tool, okay? And in it, I included a fire steel and magnesium stick. Okay, so fire steel, magnesium rod, and a striker. Now, <clears throat> this birch bark has some ice on it, but it should be okay, because I'm going to use some magnesium. So, first thing I'm going to do is just scrape, scrape some into a little bit of a pile. Well, it's not really a pile, but a little bit here and there. I didn't take much off of there, so let's see how she works. Notice how I had some wood on the ground first. You always want to do that because it keeps your uh, tinder and kindling up off the ground. So as it heats up, you're not going to soak that moisture out of the ground or melt the snow and put your fire out. Now this wood's smoking a fair bit because it's wet, <coughs> but uh, it's uh, pine, so there's uh, resin inside the wood. so. It should catch pretty good. I'll keep my uh, fire starter out though, just in case. Once you start hearing snap crap snap crackle and pops there that means your wood's actually burning and I haven't heard that yet so we're still just burning the bark
It's giving off some good heat anyways. Let's hope she catches. starting to crackle that means that the the wood's starting to burn which is good but there's a whole bunch of ice on the outside of all this wood so it's going to take it a bit to get started it'll smoke and smolder oh yeah how's i was saying i'm staying hydrated with this good old florida orange juice here in the middle of the winter <laughs> Yes, sir. Woo. 